If you're running into resource issues on your website, there may be a good chance that there's too many cron jobs running on your cPanel. In this video tutorial, we're gonna go over how to stagger these cron jobs to help increase your website speeds. What? Hello, my name's Roger and I'm with Saga Pixel. In this video, we're gonna go over what cron jobs are. So basically, cron jobs um, are the automated processes that happen in the background in WordPress, specifically um, automation of posts being public, email notifications, and auto-saving drafts. If you have too many tabs that are open and too many people working on a, si a single website, there's a good chance that the server is sending these cron jobs frequently to the cPanel and it's taxing all the resources. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to stagger all these cron jobs so that they're not firing all at the same time. So let's first talk about what cron jobs are. Cron jobs are automated processes that run in the background in WordPress uh, when people are on the site, either as visitors or editors. And um, it basically will do things like auto-saving drafts, um, sending out email, automated email notifications like for updates, checking for updates, um, as well as um, scheduled publishing of posts. You know, if you have a post that's scheduled to publish at 2 p.m., on a given day when the cron job runs it will check if there's anything that's scheduled if that item is scheduled to be posted at that time then it's going to be posted so that's just like a brief overview of what cron jobs are now the issues can start to arise when you have a lot of people visiting the site or you have a lot of people that are working on the site because for every tab that you have open of the website or for every user that's actively using the website you're basically going to start taxing more of the server that you're working on and again, this does mean um, per tab. So if you have 10 tabs open of one website, the cron jobs are firing for all those 10 tabs at a given interval that has been defined. Typically, this is um, set up by default um, through your cPanel um, as far as how often it should run, but sometimes it can be um, running too often. And again, it can become very taxing on your system. So in this video, we're just going to go over um, how to disable the automated one. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is disable the uh, WP cron process. So to do that, we have have to do is go into the file manager for your website so come into the cPanel here um, and what you're going to do is go and search for file manager it's usually just easier to use the search bar up here and then go into the folder for the website that you're working on I'm just going to go into dev1 here for example and we're looking for the WP config file which is right here and we're going to go edit and we're going to scroll down to that one last line where it says to stop editing and you can see here I already have this set up uh, but what you're going to do is paste in this line right here, define uh, disable WP cron true. All right, so go ahead and get that added. Click save. And then from here, all we have to do now is actually set up the cron jobs. All right, so what we're going to do is go back to the uh, cPanel here and we want to type in cron jobs. And let's go ahead and go into there. And from here, this is where we have to set up. So you can use the common settings. These work just fine, but I do prefer to... Um, in, in our case, uh, set up custom ones just because we have so many uh, different dev domains. So you can see here, basically the way I set this up is uh, we have a little over 20 domains. So I set it that um, each domain runs once on the hour at the hour, um, each one on its own hour. And then after we've gone beyond that limit, uh, I just moved the next one to the five minutes on the hour. So for example, like dev one runs at midnight, dev two at one, um, and so on and so forth. And then after we've exceeded that, you can see here, like I just started going at the fifth minute of the hour for the next one, the 10th minute of the zero hour uh, for the next one, so on and so forth. But if you're only working with one website, the common settings should be fine. So what I would do is go into here, we're gonna go once per day, um, and then what we need to do is add in the command here for this. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this in um, and we'll give this to you as well. But all you have to do, um, this should be fine as long as your website is in the public HTML folder in your root domain. If it's not, you just have to switch this forward slash public HTML uh, to the actual file path for your website. So you can see here, each one of these has its own file path because if we go into the file manager here, uh, each one is under its own folder. Uh, they're not under the uh, typical public HTML folder. So go ahead and set that in there. Click add new cron job and that's it. You should be good to go. It's going to run uh, once a day um, at the beginning of the hour on midnight. And again, you really shouldn't need to have this be um, running too often unless you have a lot of automated tasks set up on your website. If that is the case, then you might want to adjust this to maybe once every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes. 
Um, I think they do say 30 minutes is pretty good and should suffice in most cases.